If only we were running low on water. We would not have a problem. Look at that. Crazy, off the caravan's gutter as well. So much potential showers. I'm not running out there naked. Darn these cheap ass head units. Um, it's got an AUX port, but it does nothing. Which is pretty annoying. I've gone through all the settings, there's no, no access for AUX. The only AUX access is uh, these two that I just cut off, which I put somewhere. There we go. These two. So AUX is these two, and I don't have anything that is these two. Um, to headphone connection and uh, when I'm playing stuff through my computer it has like a bit it, like th the longer you listen to it the more like slight lag it has and then you have to like pause the video then play the video and then it's like back in sync again really annoying so I want to um, put it through an AUX and this is I got this really long AUX had it for ages and I've cut it and rewired it onto these but it's like the, it's like the new age connections which are like paper thin cables and then they paint them so you gotta like burn them and then clean them with alcohol and then solder to them so it's a real headache but it works check it out works I got the left and right right it says no video Oop, if I if I go into AUX in it says no video input I was really hoping that it didn't rely on that but um yeah it works which is awesome, and for some reason this doesn't. Also check this out, if you're into electronics at all. AUX, it has obviously a positive for the left, a positive for the right, and then a ground. This only has two cables coming out of it. So, um, don't know how that would have worked even if it did work. Maybe it's a microphone connection. I don't know, either way. Useless and doesn't work, that's a hot looking egg. Yeah, tell me if it's cooked. Oh, well, give him the spin. I don't think it is. Oh, I think I'm happy. Oh. I think it's cooked. Good way to test it. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today. And uh, there's a few other things. Um, my mate gave me this idea. I don't have a DC to DC charger. So, oh my God, my battery. Ah, oh, see that went. I don't have a DC to DC charger, but I do have a charger for the caravan. So I'm going to connect the charger for the caravan in my car using the inverter in my car to power the charger and then connecting the charger to the front of the caravan to charge the caravan while we're driving. It's like a cheap man's DC to DC charger. <laughs> Hope it works, I'm gonna do that today as well. And apart from that, it's a chill day because it's sunny at the moment, but it has been raining, it poured this morning, absolutely poured. And um, it's supposed to be raining all throughout the day. So um, we're gonna climb the mountain tomorrow. See you guys up there. Up in the clouds. God, now it's so sunny, ridiculous. <sighs> It'll change though. You can probably see it's puddles everywhere. It's been absolutely pouring. And look at that clouds go. Clouds are zooming. Anyway guys, see you on the mountain. So rain has started coming down and um, it's a bit messy at the moment because I'm still working on stuff. But this is all back in. And this is the AUX cable that's uh, gonna be playing with no lag. I, at the moment I just have it coming out so if I yank on it, it's not gonna destroy anything. That was a bit of a annoyance to get in. Because I gotta obviously like run it through the drawer, through the underneath of the drawer, between here and then like into here, then down the side of the wall. And I've already crammed a lot of stuff down the side of that wall, so there is not much space. I'm talking like, like put wax, like not wax, grease around the cable, and then like, uh, 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 that was real, that was a real tricky thing. Check out the pies. So this is my own creation, my uh, my wallaby pies. They're almost done. I got, I've got. Um, this is the mix. I'll turn this on. It is cheese, wallaby, um, bacon, a little bit of vegetable, it's got a bunch of herbs and spices, caramelized onion, um, that's the majority of it. There's some other stuff, but not that much other stuff. And yeah, I'm on a puff pastry top and shortcut pastry bottom. It's starting to come down now. But uh, yeah, that's my pies. Wallaby pies after all, high five. So we're on our way to the uh, peak of the mountain. Is that right, Naomi? It's cold. It's pretty damn cold. What's the what's the max temperature going to be? Like eight degrees? Eight degrees at the top. Yeah, eight degrees is how the hottest is going to get today at the top. So it's going to be pretty damn cold. Fahrenheit in the corner. Huh? 
Nah, screw Fahrenheit. You'll understand. Eight degrees Celsius. And uh, yeah, look how much water's coming off this mountain. It is just constant, constant streaming of water. What is this biz? Spray spray. Spray. I'm confused. Ooh. There we go. I don't think I want to be sprayed. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. COVID friendly, you know? Look at that, I'm pretty clean to clean my shoes for the way back. Let's see how much of a good job it did. Does a pretty good job. Anyway, so it's, uh, it's like that fairy rain that's just gonna like yeah, soak and cold. Like and then we might do the peak. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll, okay. Wait, we'll definitely do the peak though. Definitely. Even though it's practically guaranteed there's not going to be any view whatsoever. <laughs> We're going to check it out. See you guys on the, uh, the way up. Oh no! Now your shoe! Oh no, my shoe! Fuck it! Yeah, so this is the track down. I mean, this is like literally, I don't know, a minute since I last recorded. I don't know if this is really much of a trail. Why? <laughs> it's so wet. Oh no. Oh no. Do you have much water inside? I'm so good. Oh no, already. God damn. So this is actually my, my only pair of dry shoes. Oh my god, sun's coming out. Because this morning, I like... Um, put the awning down on one side and all the water came down just like went over my shoes. So, uh, yep, we've I got... I warn you that it's a super slippery, muddy track after <laughs> I hope it's I currently capt raining. <laughs> I hope I captured you and stab it into that. <laughs> so, oh. my gold. You can actually, listen, stop for a sec. Do you hear that? Yeah, I do hear that. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of water. Look at it all coming down. There's loads! Well, this Look at this is an interesting track just because of the water. Alright. The vast amount of water coming off this mountain is incredible. It's just continual. Like, underneath, to the side, it's all around. <laughs> Check it out, there is a bit of a view. It's not too bad. It's but it's still raining and uh, it's just so much water, it's incredible. So we made it to the lake. It is... <laughs> Pretty much engulfed in cloud, and um, yeah, the path gets better and worse in some places. Look at that water though, it's crystal clear. And uh, yeah, it got, it got a lot harder in some parts, I'm sorry for the rain, it's just going to happen. So we met some local park rangers that are uh, fixing all this path, and they said it's probably set in today, and the view is absolutely spectacular, so apparently tomorrow is not supposed to be so bad. So we're going to come back tomorrow and do the peak, because it's like another hour. No, no, what? The weather tomorrow is going to bring. We are doing it tomorrow, because this is the third time. Yeah, we are. It's the third time we've come here, so... The weather here is pretty dodgy, so it's probably going to be raining tomorrow, and the mountain's probably going to be in a cloud, but uh, we'll hike it anyway, and uh, see how it looks. At least we saw Lake Ephraim, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, the lake was quite cool. And honestly, it's pretty cool seeing this path when there's so much water running down it. Yeah, and I don't reckon the, I reckon there'll be heaps of water still on it tomorrow. Yeah, probably. We just have it less on us. Much. And you know, the sun's kind of coming out now. But we're still in the cloud. Yeah. But it makes me wonder, if you know what I mean? So we went for a bit of a ride near the, uh, we're just camping just down there. And every time I drove past, I saw something just like, I wasn't sure what it was, just something off the road. So I thought I'd check it out. And it is a bunch of beehives. Check it out, there is loads of bees. All flying around here. Heaps. They all just ratcheted shut. Oh, there's a phone number. What does it say on them? Need a room. Hmm. B bucks. It's pretty cool. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, go. So we forgot the Insta. So you've got to deal with Stefan's broken phone. But this view is too magnificent not to show. Pretty beautiful. Look at that.
Check out that beautiness. Whoa, it's really slippery. There's also a ridiculous amount of massive trees here. Gorgeous. Here with the good old Sir on a nay. You probably don't need to do hard to pick anymore. <laughs> probably not. We've already climbed a mountain today. Easy done. It's actually, um, yeah, really, really nice and sunny now, but... I wouldn't say it's a mountain. Yeah, I reckon the mountain will still be. Yeah. Clouds yeah, I reckon they'll be in the clouds. That mountain over there has touched by a cloud. That it is. Beautiful though. This was just like a short, short ride from Hard the campsite from bit, miles, yeah. yeah. We're definitely going to stay a few more nights, I think, and explore this whole place. Because... Guess what, guys? No timeline! My hand's full. Oh, oh, well, how flexible do you think I am? <laughs> Go! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Check it out, guys. This is an amazing view. We're getting closer and closer, and it's just getting more and more spectacular. Oh, my God. That's some tea for our faces. Oh, yeah, so good. This, this is where I want to put my house. Oh yeah, also, so I'm pretty sure, whew, that is sunny. Uh, what was the name of that mountain there? Eh? Arts Peak. Arts Peak, I'm pretty sure. It's this one right here. Look at that, sunny, and this one is in the clouds. Totally clouded. I think we're screwed for tomorrow. You reckon? Well, it's 0% chance of rain down here. But clearly that means otherwise over there. Oh, he has a good point. It probably is. This is awesome though. We were like, as we were riding up, it was like slowly revealing. Couldn't see anything because it's all just trees. It's just getting more and more spectacular. And the way the sun's hitting it. Oh my god. We will discover. Oh, yeah, we can go over there and see that away. Game. Your hair looks really golden in the sun. I like it. Don't take that hat off then. <laughs> Check out them rolling hills. This this is like Tasmania in a nutshell. Mountains. Loads of mountains and loads of hills. Mountains. Just never ending. Just mountains everywhere. My poor car has to pull the caravan up all this stuff. And your poor bike has to carry us. <laughs> exactly. It is uh I don't think any of these paths are like ever really used anymore, hey? No. It's like a whole unsung place. I can't believe that mountain is still covered in clouds after all this sun it's just i really hope it's not in the clouds tomorrow <laughs> quite an amazing achievement this bike just made check it out four fours four fours it's finally done the good old triple fours i mean <laughs> triple quad fours four fours how awesome is that that's how many k's i've done on this thing and we're back and it is as the tradie people parks people promised it is a uh, yeah pretty much cloudless I mean obviously it's still cloudy but we're not in the cloud it makes a big difference look at that lake you can actually see it all it's not just faded into cloud so I think it's pretty pretty high chances we'll be able to see um see a beautiful view from the top of the mountain so we're currently 800 meters up and then we're going to go up to 1200 meters up and we think one of these mountains are it far forward I'll show you the views. Yeah, look how insanely clear this water is. We're at Ladies Park. Well, we think, I don't know though, because the park is that's what, it, that's what it said though. It's supposed to be a. Uh... God, look how clear the water is. It's amazing. Mountains and crystal clear water. Love it. So it's a little bit uh, a little bit closer than it was before as far as track goes. And definitely a lot steeper. Still entertaining as all hell. Ooh. And there's a soft kind of bushes, which is nice. And you can tell the view's getting better and better. The higher we get, the more amazing this is looking. Check it out. You can even see the path, the, the walkway, the whole way up. Goddamn stellar. So I don't know how this happens, but it just pulled straight out. So um, 
possibly no more selfie stick. I'm gonna give that a shot and see if I can fix it. But otherwise, check it out. There's another lake. Beautiful. We're almost at the top. There is there is quite a load of people though, so I think the top's gonna be pretty packed. Hopefully not too packed. We're almost there. And the view is getting spectacular. I feel like all the all the mountains in Tasmania are just like you get close to the end, and then bam, shy loads of rocks. You feel like you get some hard but then just at this. Yeah, just so many rocks. Oh, it's a little rock thing. Ugh. Gotta build it up. Build it up. So I lost a little bit of height on the Insta because it's uh, lost the link. I managed to somewhat repair it with a bit of cardboard so it doesn't fall out. How are you feeling, Nick? Hi. Looks like a cloud's just sort of rolling in as well a little bit. <laughs> That's the other side. Your husband in because yeah. <laughs> beautiful, made it to the top. It's finally, uh, it's finally cleared up a bit. And check out that path, you can see the, the track the whole way. Yeah, look at it, looks awesome. Nice little lake over there, everything's so still. It's like zero wind up here. Damn beautiful. So I was riding around um, the camp spot a bit, like the path down there, and this road, it said something about like, you know what, I uh, took a photo of it. I had a sign, and it said, here we go. You are entering a chain shot zone. Look at that. I have no idea what that means, but I want to check it out anyway. Turns out it's a, uh, yeah, one of the places they like you know, get wood, deforestation sort of things. Look at this machine, it's huge. It looks uh, very uh, Jurassic Parky, I reckon. Oh, look at his teeth. It's got like chains coming off it. I mean, uh, not chains, cables. I'm hardly ever this close to the machinery. They're huge. Super mossy, like look at that ground. So mossy. I bet it's super slippery. I'm gonna try it. Slippery ice. Oh, no through road. Turn around. I can't even do wheelers, it's like impossible. Try it. So slippery. Fish tailing all over the place. See where it goes though. Oh. oh man, how long does it go for? 
I don't know if I'm ready to commit to this. <laughs> just want to do it because I can, you know? Not because it's, I don't know, chopped up. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no, there's no way I'm going to make it that whole way. <laughs> Usually I only do this for like a small section to stop cars. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these paths that I've discovered so far go nowhere, go to this sort of thing. But this place is rainforesty as, even as one of those like birds, you know, the go and do it. I don't know how to make the sounds, maybe I could call it. He's not doing it. You know what I mean. The lush forest birds. So far down the track though, it's like just off some random forestry path. It's really weird, I feel like my whole life, like this is the first time I've done like a long, long trip and um, yeah, I'm so used to seeing like grass and stuff like that in the middle of these paths. But it's like, it's all moss, except for Warpton, Warpton's a bit like this. But it's just like mossy as all hell. I feel like Warpton is the Tasmania of Victoria. Hey guys, thanks for watching the vlog. Um, tomorrow, after this journey, we are going to the southernmost point of Australia and Tasmania and the whole shebangle. And it's going to be cold, it's going to be windy, and hopefully it should be interesting. Welcome to the wild, wild west. Wild, wild west. See you in the next one. Catch you guys.